Wholeness, wholeness, YouTube, happy now, all is now, it's a gift of being a present, fresh day, signing back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness, okay? So, uh, you're now tuning into the mind of an algenative moon, and it is currently Saturn day in space and location where I'm at, and Horus is transiting the 11th house, okay? So, and this is going to be my continuation on the Saturn placements. This is going to be Saturn in uh, Sagittarius, okay? So without further ado, let's get this kicked off. So what do we know about Saturn? Saturn is your planet of reality, okay? It's your planet of how, the planet of how you go about getting stability in your life, okay? How you go about getting stability in your life. Boundaries, limitations, like I say, uh, yeah, I think, you know, your government, you know, dealing with that crown chakra, okay? So, yeah, and when you mix this here with Sag, let's here, let's look here. So Sagittarius is born from the ninth house. So what's Sagittarius? What is the uh, modality of Sagittarius, okay? Sagittarius is fixed fire. Okay, not fixed fire, but mutable fire. Okay, meaning being able to adapt to yours and other people's ways of seeing things. Adaptable fire, vision, fire dealing with vision. Okay, and Sagittarius is being ruled by Jupiter. Okay, so like I say, Saturn is that planet of boundaries, restrictions, reality, what you do how you use your time to gain some sort of stability in your life okay so when you put uh when you have this mixture okay it's like you you know would be someone who has a uh, way of gaining stability through your life through your you know spirituality uh through your you know, broad philosophical ways of looking at the world, religion, you know, your religion, you know, yeah, your perception, you know, you could be someone who, you know, gains stability, yeah, through this, you know, uh, you know, Saturn, you know, like I say, with Jupiter having this, uh, uh, Sagittarius having that Jupiter influence, you know, this is dealing with experiences. This is dealing with wisdom. This is right brain, okay? Uh, and Saturn, you know, is more comfortable, works a lot better with planets. I mean, signs such as Taurus, Libra, uh, yeah, Virgo, Aquarius, Capricorn. So more, Saturn works a lot better with elements that are more objective, okay? So this Saturn placement, Saturn and Sagittarius is more, Sagittarius is more subjective, okay? So let's look at this, you know, it doesn't support what Saturn is about, looking at this off head. It doesn't support what Saturn is about. You know, Saturn, like I say, it's about that here we're here you know like here now what can you do now i want to see it's practical show me what are you talking about reality like yeah you talk a good game but it's like what can you show me the results practical stop talking and show me okay jupiter is about faith it's about spirituality Okay, faith is more, you know, internal. It's not external. Okay, so you can see how these two, you know, the influence between these two, okay, is not mixing, okay? So it's as positive and negative to everything, okay? Positive and negative to everything. So you can most definitely 
go about gaining stability in your life, okay? Through, yeah, long distance traveling. Looking at this, you would be probably someone who will have to do your travels a lot. You have to travel a lot, you know, within your career, in your business, you have to gain that stability in your life, okay? And since I'm spiritually inclined and I am a Sagittarius sun sign myself, I know that you don't, I do not only do long distance travels physically, but I do long distance travels mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And so that could be a thing which can manifest physically, but still it is, you know, that's tapping into the more spiritual side. Okay, so with this, you know, you could most definitely gain stability through the experiences you've had in the spirit realm. The experiences you've had with your religion. The experiences you've had, yeah, in just your life in general, okay? Gaining stability through your experiences. Let's say being, and you know, with Saturn, okay, looking at this here, with Saturn being that harsh teacher as well, Jupiter and, and teacher most, uh, Jupiter and Saturn. So Jupiter, difference between Jupiter and Saturn, is Jupiter teaches you through those knowledge, your knowledge and wisdom, which is your experiences, you know, because you can't have knowledge or wisdom without your experiences, okay? But, you know, Saturn will teach you through that uh, uh, harsh reality. Yeah, it's still experience, though, but the Saturn is more like trial and tribulation. Harsh, you know? So Jupiter is yet, you know, misconception is that you just sit down and Jupiter is that more benefic planet, you know? And it just gives you all these benefits like I say, you gotta use, you gotta use your your tools. You gotta use these tools. Okay, so right now I'm using my Jupiter in Aquarius. Okay, so basically, you know, with Jupiter in Sag in in Sagittarius in Capricorn, not Capricorn, but Saturn, you know, is most definitely gaining stability, you know, in your life through your experiences. And yeah, just your perception and your spirituality with relatable, being relatable, almost definitely, you know, with other people, you know, looking at this, this is a nomad placement, you know, someone who doesn't even take reality too seriously, you know, this is someone who has a light perception when looking at this Saturnian reality we live in, in this 3D, you know, perception from this 3d perception this might be someone who wants to break out of this 3d you know perception and gain stability in their life in a in a more free way in a more light way you know in a way where it's yeah not the same as the you know average being who wants to work a 95 with let's say saturn in a Virgo placement will most definitely be comfortable working at nine to five. But with someone in Sagittarius, Saturn and Sagittarius, it's like, nah, they wanna they wanna be free. You know, they wanna travel. They wanna move. You know? They don't wanna be stuck in a cage. They don't wanna yeah, be in that nine to five sitting down. No, they wanna they wanna be free. Okay, so Saturn and Sagittarius, you know. Gain stability through yeah, your wisdom, long distance travels, physically or mentally. Okay? And yeah, through higher learning. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Through gaining stability in your life, through your higher learnings. Any spiritual ex experiences you've had. And let's say through your teaching, gaining stability in your life through you know, teaching through whatever experience, through whatever field you are experienced in, okay? 
And like I say, with these planetary alignments, you know, it depends on the frequency vibration. You know, you are riding, depending on your frequency vibration and the type of spirit you are, you know, what are you gravitating towards? You know, you could, you know, like I say, whatever field you're in, you know, you could be whatever you're teaching to gain some sort of stability in your life. You know, it just depends on, yeah, like I say, could be, could be a basketball coach, be teaching people how to play basketball because you have knowledge and wisdom on that. And you use that to gain stability in your life. But some sort of be doing some form of teaching, relating wisdom based on your experiences. You now, because you've had the experience, you will be able to gain some sort of stability in your life with whatever, you know, whatever field you're experienced in. It's somewhat similar. It's sounding similar to my Jupiter placements, but you know, with Jupiter, yeah, it's uh, it's knowledge and wisdom. Jupiter itself, I'm not on Saturn now, but let's just look at, so I can give you the difference. Jupiter itself is just knowledge and wisdom, okay? So for our example, I have Jupiter in Aquarius. And what I'm doing is I'm showing you my knowledge and wisdom on the stars. But with Saturn here, in Jupiter in, yeah, so what's it called? Jupiter in Saturn, not Jupiter, Sagittarius in Saturn, okay you would be gaining stability in your life through your knowledge and wisdom and that could be whatever depending on your frequency vibration and yeah astral travel you know it just varies yeah so yeah first is signing out catch you next time